Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building the Ease with uh, Jadonix. So in today's episode guys we're going to be building this little nano farm for double tall flowers. I think that's probably what they're called. Nope, that's not what they're called. What are they called? I think they're just flowers that are tall. Uh, yeah, so like lilacs, rose bushes, peony, tall grass could not work in this, but sunflowers would. Those are pretty much the things that we're going for in today's episode. Eventually, I'll do a small flower farm, a small, small flower flower farm. But yeah, so this is uh, pretty much the whole design. Basically, what it does is in this chest, you have tons of bone meal. And I tested it out for like 30 seconds, not really 30, but like for like two minutes. And it got me this much, so it's clearly very fast. And you need to have a lot of bone meal. So I suggest that you would have a like a bone farm or a uh, like a spawner farm. Some, something that you can get a lot of bones from so yeah you just want to have that and then yeah you'll just flick this lever and you can see that immediately this thing will dispense tons of bone meal towards this and it will all be getting filled up into this chest which slowly uh, yeah it just happens pretty much alright so to start out you're gonna need these items in my hand this can be uh, dirt rather than grass if you wanted but basically you're going to start by placing down a chest, a double chest if you wanted uh, to have huge storage. And then putting a hopper on top. And then you're going to put a rail on top of the hopper. Put the hopper minecart on top of the rail. Break the rail. Come over with a temporary block, two temporary blocks. And then put a piston facing towards the hopper minecart uh, that way. And then put the dirt block right here. And then you want to surround this like that. Um just so that it won't like get pushed out or squeezed out in any way and then grab your lever activate this just for a short second it should work just like that it'll get squeezed in there then you want to place a block right here you can go ahead back and and then you can go and put a block right here put your bush in and then put two pieces of glass here that's just so you could see your farm you don't need that uh, if you didn't want and then put blocks on the side like that put a lever down right here and then put blocks right like that. And that's going to be it for the first part of the build. Okay, so then you're going to put a block right there. And then put your dispenser facing inward towards the bush. So you can see that's facing in. And then you're going to come out right here with a repeater. Set to one tick, just like that. Put another block. Put down a redstone. Add a hopper right here with... A double chest and you could fill this double chest up with bones if you wanted and then go ahead and place in a slab right here just like this and then come up again place another slab right here and then put another slab up here so you can see I'm kind of just working my way up to the top and then once you get up here you want to put another one right here and then it could be a full block and then just place a redstone trail going like that. And then put a sticky piston down right there. Put an observer. Um, just put a temporary observer right there and then put another observer. And then place your observer facing this way. Place your other observer facing, not that way, facing downward like this. And then when this is activated, it'll trigger this, which will um, send the bone meal towards this. So let me just grab some bone meal real quick and then fill up this um, chest. And then I will show you guys how the farm works. Okay, so now that I have filled up this chest and these things with bones, you will see that when we flick this lever, what's going to happen is this repeater is going to get activated, which will send a redstone signal up to this piston, sticky piston which is going to push downward, sending these observers' signals back and forth to each other, which will make this trigger really, really fast. So you see the sticky piston went down, observers are into each other, which is sending signals back and forth. And yeah, you can see farm works pretty fast. Um, I really, I think the only problem with this is a lot of people struggle to get a lot of bone meal, but if you make a mob spawner, like I know I put a, a, a link up a spawner, or a mob farm that I built, in the description below that you guys could check out it was um it was a good farm that y it gave you like all different mob drops like it would give you gunpowder bones um uh what other things are good 
string. It would give you string, rotten flesh if you ever needed that. But yeah, I'll link the video down below if you want to check that one out. It'll get you definitely enough bones for this farm if you ever need a lot of double tall rose bush things. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this farm. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.